Introducing the Rational Team Concert using Dependency Builds Demo. You can save time and resources by setting up dependency builds, which build only those items that have changed or depend on changes since the last successful team build. This demo assumes that the Rational Build Agent is installed and running and that a build engine has been defined. We have created a sample project area for this video called Mortgage Application and added a build engine and build definition. Open the existing build definition. In this video, the build definition is called Mainframe Dev Team Incremental Build. Click on the Overview tab and you can see that the build definition is supported by the build engine called Mortgage Application Engine. Click on the Jazz Source Control tab. Notice the dedicated build workspace, the load directory, and the dataset prefix have been defined. Click on the Dependency Build tab. The new Trust Build Outputs option is set by default. The build code assumes that the outputs created in previous builds are safely kept and it improves the performance. In the project area, the stream used in this demo has been selected for source code data scanning. All system definitions, including dataset definitions, language definitions, and translators have been added in the project area and have been associated with datasets in the JAZZ SCM. Switch to the resource perspective. The Eclipse workspace is partially loaded from the repository workspace containing the mortgage application sample source code. Switch back to the work items perspective to begin your tasks. Click on the My Work tab. Change the status of the task to indicate the progress on it. To help with this task, we created a shared query to locate a specific copybook into the selected stream. By selecting Open Local File from the Context menu, you will see the corresponding source code of the copybook. Switch to the Resource Perspective. To search for the dependent files of this copybook, select Impact Analysis from the Enterprise Extensions menu. Click Show Files that depend on this file, then Finish. By selecting Open Local File from the Context menu, you'll see the file that is loaded in your Eclipse workspace. This time, we cannot see the source code locally, as it has not been loaded in the Eclipse workspace. By listing the repository files of the stream, we can check that the corresponding source code is shared in it. In this case, select Open Remote File from the Context menu to see the corresponding source code of the COBOL program. Next, we'll create a small change in the COBOL source code of the program. Then associate a work item to the change set by dragging and dropping the work item reference on it. You can also include a comment, then deliver the change set into the stream. Switch to the Work Items perspective. Right-click on the Build definition and select Request Build. The new Preview Build option allows you to view which programs will be built without actually building anything. Choose Preview Build and submit the request. The build is marked as Preview in the Build label. At least one log file is attached to the build. On the External Links tab, a link to the build report is attached. The report describes which files will be built in the next non-preview build and includes a reason and description for each. We changed one program, therefore only one program will be rebuilt and as defined in the legend, the reason to build is set to value 1.
Click in the Source column to see the dependency set for the corresponding source. The dependency set lists the source files shown in the Dependency Resources column that are needed to build this program. Click in the Output column to see the previous build map. This build map captures information about the inputs and outputs of a build and is used internally to calculate what to build next time. Right-click on the build definition, select Request Build, and Submit. On the External Links tab, you can see the build map that has been built. The Logs tab lists the one program that has been built, according to what has been shown in the previous preview build result. This time we'll create a change in the source code of a copybook. Associate a work item to the change set and add a comment. Then deliver the change set into the stream. Return to the build definition, right-click on it and select Request Build. Choose Preview Build, then Submit. The report describes which files will be built in the next non-preview build and includes a reason and description for each. Note this time we've just changed a copybook, therefore three depending programs will be rebuilt and as defined in the legend, the reason to build is set to value 2. Click the source column to see the dependency set for the corresponding source code. Right-click the build definition, request build, then submit. The External Links tab shows the build maps that have been built. The Logs tab lists the programs that have been built according to what has been shown in the previous preview build result. This concludes the Rational Team Concert using Dependency Builds Demo. For more information and demos, please visit www.jazz.net.